Today we're going to be trying something different. I'm going to be playing Cultic on the PC on the LG 42 inch OLED EVO panel. Now TV slash monitor, whatever you want to call it. Today is a specific test. I am playing this at 12 a.m. to get it more scarier, right? <laughs> but we are going to be testing, at least I hope I can capture it on camera, if OLED produces any kind of smear. Now this game Cultic, which was in demo form on Steam at E3 2022, just recently. And when I first tried the demo, this game looked amazing. And I'm like, wow, this is a perfect game to test out smear on monitors or TVs because it's low bit. And with PC movement, you know, with the mouse and keyboard, it's pinpoint. What a perfect game to try out on this OLED 42 inch TV slash monitor, right? To see if there's any smear. I don't know if the camera will capture it, but for my eyes, I don't see anything, but I'll leave that up to you. You guys be the judge and let me know in the comments down below if you do see smear. But again, you know, OLED pinpoint pixel accuracy, I don't see any. And that's why this is a perfect game, a horror game, but a perfect game to test. And why not do it at 12 a.m., right? So I'll be talking about the game and how this 42 inch OLED TV has wowed me and has surprised me in certain games and situations. Don't mind if I freak out on this game because again, I am playing in a pitch black room and with these OLED inky blacks, it does get pretty scary, especially in an all dark room game. Or dark room gaming so that's what i'm doing here trying to give you guys as much information as possible so let's get into it and just so you're aware friends death is only the beginning crawl from your grave and gear up to fight your way through the ranks of a mysterious and twisted cult you and your guns and your dynamite will have to shoot slide blast duck dodge and maybe even throw a gib or two to survive in this old school inspired shooter this is from 3d realms and i had a blast playing the demo just for a bit so i want to play it here for you i'm going to play this whole demo as you can see the low bit, but I want to capture here the smear if there is any kind of smear or trail. Regardless if it's... Oh, that's so cool. Regardless if it's OLED, still we'll be able to see if there's a trail, smear, some kind of artifacting on this OLED. Is this a perfect PC monitor replacement for you? Will this compete with all the monitors that are out on the market today? I will do just that. I will test this against all my monitors to help you make that awesome buying decision to see if it's worth it. This is pretty expensive still. As I've been seeing some of my friends overseas, this TV is dropping in price. It's just a matter of time before it drops in price. Oh man. And you can do headshots, you can do everything here. You can throw things, but it's, it is creepy. If you have these with headphones on, oh my gosh. I love these kind of graphics. Old school, low poly, 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, whatever. It has this kind of look that is different and it does have a creepy vibe. But you can see as I'm going fast, this is with the mouse and keyboard. I do not see any trail or lag in the sense of trail or blur. You know what I mean. Like when you get with VA panels. Not necessarily do I see it, but... I usually have the best of the best as I'd really rather put a lot of money into the display as this is something that we see all the time, right? We can easily see this time and time again. So I would always recommend pay that little bit extra to get the best monitor you can possibly get. But this game looks beautiful. I really love this kind of style. This OLED TV can pixel perfect the image again it's pixel perfect it makes it look super clear and that's the thing with oled technology it's super clear to all my mini led friends monitors tvs oled does give you that clarity and that pixel speed that you can't get anywhere else i am a believer now as i have all kinds of technologies here on the channel and again friends it's not about me being a fanboy or preferring one technology over the other it's really just to help you make that awesome buying decision i mean i own them Right, of course I'm gonna have a preference on which one I like or don't like or which one I'd rather play more. But this is all for you. This is all to help you make that awesome buying decision so you don't have to waste your money or bother returning, trying out different ones. If there's any game or anything you want me to play on these TVs or monitors, you just tell me and we'll do my best to do it. But the whole point is to help you make that awesome buying decision so you can not waste your time and not waste your money. But again, even you, I'm sure, have a preference. You might like that LED non-burn-in look. You might love that pixel responsiveness that you can't get anywhere else with that infinity contrast so but you got to go with a little bit lower brightness so if you're not a brightness freak oled is perfect if you are a brightness powerhouse if that's what you want 
you might want to look at elsewhere like the LG 32G Q950, Neo G7, Neo G8. Any LG Nano IPS panel does have that brightness. But again, we're just playing this game on the LG OLED to try it out. First impressions, pre-reviews. All that. I'm going to throw everything at this TV. So there might be some good, there might be some bad. You might not like a couple of things. But again, I can show you in video proof. This is not opinion. Of course, I'll give you my opinion, but I do always back it up with video proof. So I hope you can handle that because many can't. I can see that in the comments sometimes. But always my opinion is backed up by video proof. But you can see so far this game is outstanding. I do not see any smear or trailing. That's a good thing. The brightness is just good enough. Now this is on the PC. This is not in HDR mode. This is just standard SDR, so it is bright enough. I can see everything clearly. The camera might struggle a little bit with a little bit of the dark scenes. But I'm telling you what I can see. I can see everything super clear and super vibrant with real depth. Now again, I can see it. I can't capture it on camera, but you can just listen to what I'm saying. There is no black crush whatsoever. And it's always better to see these in person. I can only give you an idea, but I try to do my best as possible. I do not like going into corridors or caves or dungeons and stuff like that. I get really scared. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I do get frightened. So, and I have this with my headphones on. I'm trying to, you know, mic monitor myself when I'm speaking here, looking at what I'm playing on the PC. But man, let me know down in the comments below also if you would like to see Let's Plays in this style with my monitors and TVs. That's what I've been trying to do. I'm gonna try to green screen these things soon. So let me know if you like this kind of style. But man, I know this is just a demo, but there is enough ammo. But this is creepy. It's a cult or something like that. Imagine going down in some kind of woods and you see some cult or something. Forget that. No way. I don't even want to think about it. That is creepy. But it's cool that they made this game. I really like it. <laughs> oh, man. As you can see, the graphics are easily handled by the PC. I like the effects of this game. It looks really clear and clean. But remember, friends, you do need a 3080 to get this at 4K 120Hz. I am playing this on a 2080, 4K 60Hz. We will be trying PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X very soon. Let me know what game you guys want to see. We will be versusing this against other 43-inch and 42-inch monitors, like the Aorus FE 43U or 43-inch Samsung QN90B. Among the QD OLED AW3423DW, we got a whole lot of versus videos to get to, so... Hit that subscribe button if you do want to see those videos. And hit that like button as it helps the channel tremendously so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. We really appreciate it, friends. If you are considering buying this TV, please use that affiliate link in the description below as it helps me tremendously bring technology to you faster than ever. Oh man, I really like how the weapons sound. The sound effects of this game are awesome. Oh man, look how they blow up. That is really cool. Especially in this kind of game. I like this kind of game. I love these kind of games where it's just, it's just something different and not everything has to be realistic. This is really cool. Don't forget to check this out, guys. This is on Steam. You can wishlist it. It's called Cultic from 3D Realms. And I thought it'd be awesome to play this on this OLED TV. Wait, what was that? You hear those noises? See, I don't, man. This is gonna freak me out. Hmm.
here, what I'm going to do here is I am going to raise the ISO a little bit. Just so we can see better in this deep, dark cave. I can see it a little bit better than the camera is picking up. Just giving you guys that notice. But hopefully it does pick it up here. Oh man, this is... Shoot. I don't like this because this is when it gets really scary. I don't like these corridors. But I do it for you guys. So please hit that like button, guys. Do not like messing around with these kinds of things and games. At least not at night. Not at midnight oh my gosh let's see here things so I can get over here oh, okay I love bear traps or some kind of trap gosh and even those noises are creepy do you hear those noises oh my gosh Oh my gosh. Oi! Oh. Okay, let's finish up the game now. Oh my gosh. Oi, look at Oh man, look how they walk. Oh my gosh, they're falling from the ceiling. Oh, no, 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 no. You hear that chainsaw? Texas chainsaw in the mat? No way. No, thank you. Get out of here, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Go, 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 go. Open the door and get out. Where am I? I can't even see. Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh, there's guys up here. Uh, okay, now I can see it's <laughs> It's not that scary when there's some light. I'm serious, you guys. I love scary games, but still, I still get scared when those moments happen. So, you know what I mean. So, this is the key. Yeah, this is where I can get out. Oh, yeah. Huh, is that it? I'm out by the waterfall. Let's go. Oh, there's more. Let's go. Oh, oh in the face. Yes, nice. Let's go home. All right, friends, that was Cultic on the PC on the LG 42 inch OLED Evo panel. I hope you enjoyed this video, friends. Please hit that like button if you do want to see more of these kinds of videos or let's plays with these monitors and TVs, I'd be more than happy to do it. I had a lot of fun making this video, especially at 12 o'clock. I do it for you so you don't have to. But as you can see, you can get this game on Steam, you can wishlist it or get the LG OLED TV PC monitor replacement for your next generation and PC needs. Thanks for watching friends, stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.